them right here in the Irish Sea. Sounds like trouble with the X-17. Chief. Mm. Sir? Activate diving unit number four for an immediate inspection tour. Aye, aye, sir. What's the fix on that radiation leakage? Bearing 075, sir. Range 1,000 yards. And that checks. Here's our position in the Irish Sea. And here, here, and here is what we come to inspect. The X-17, the most powerful nuclear counter-weapon ever devised. How powerful, sir? Well, there's 17 satellite weapons as well as the main installation. We didn't get here any too soon. That leak must be coming from one of the satellite weapons. There's no doubt about it. The idea of the Irish Sea exploding in our faces is not exactly appealing. Swenson, Kruger, Lopez, Yamato. Chief, what's the scene? Did you hear those names, Kowalski? Yeah, I heard them. So what? So what? Swenson, Kruger, Lopez, Yamato. What kind of guys are those to be sending out off the coast of Ireland? Trained nuclear divers, that's what kind. What kind of training do they have in the handling of the little people? The what? Ski. The leprechauns. The leprechauns. The le... <laughs> Wait, now, gee, now, now, come on. Uh, I wouldn't expect a knothead called Kowalski to know what I'm talking about. But these waters belong to the little people, and they're not going to take too kindly to all this messing about in them. Yeah, 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 sure, sure. Well, the Admiral's not going to take too kindly to not getting a report on Unit 4. Then what do you think I was just going to do? Well, I thought maybe you were about to inspect the missile room for some little green men or something. Missile room to control. Unit 4 is on its way.
glorious fireworks since I said blaze to the feet bug to kill Arnie. Get the fire on those panels on the devil! All hands, resume your stations. Check the controls. Move! And that was 400 years... No, 500 years ago. On the eve of all saints. <laughs> Unit 4, Unit 4. This is the Admiral. Report. Unit 4, what's your situation? Report. Activate nose and tail camera. See if we can find those divers. Well, now that'll keep you all busy for a while. And I'll be seen about collecting me fortune in gold. Nothing. There's no sign of them. The satellite weapon's destroyed. But we're still here. If that weapon had really blown, we wouldn't be. Oh, no, no, not the weapon. The ignition system. Something went wrong, powerful enough to destroy that part of the installation without setting off the nuclear blast. Well, what effect will it have on the main installation? That's what we have to find out. Patterson, prepare the flying set for immediate launch. Yes, sir. Lee. You better get out there. As you know, the flying sub is equipped with remote control devices to handle the main installation in case anything goes wrong. Right. Get a little work ahead of you. seeing me unless it's my wish that you do. But right now I'd best be planning how you can serve me purpose. from here. 
precursor. The main installation of the defense system. There's enough power buried under there to blow off the top of the northern hemisphere. FS-1 to see you. FS-1 to see you. Come in, please. Hey, Major Lee, go ahead. We've sighted the main installation, Admiral. There's no indication of any malfunction. But our radiation count is rising pretty rapidly. We're at 25 millirentkin over the norm. Mm -hmm. Well, that checks with our reading here. Now, listen carefully. There's a furniture control inside the complex that governs the radioactivity. You've got to bring it back to normal. Check the furniture control. Aye, sir. How delicate is the interior control system? It's very delicate. Any sudden change in radioactivity, either up or down, can set off the entire complex. All right, sir, we'll close it down. Gently. Over and out. Here we go, Pat. Easy does it. Easy does it, sir. Do you think he can make it, sir? He has to. Otherwise, this part of the will can blow up. Including the entire kit and caboodle of the little people. Hmm? But what, what, what was that? Oh, I was just thinking out loud, so I'm sure the skipper will do fine, just fine. But, uh... But what? Well, I don't think the leprechauns are taking too kindly to what's going on out there. Well, that is, of course, there are such things. Let's, uh, keep our minds on reality, Chief. Got enough trouble here as it is. Aye, sir. Leprechaun. Pressure blew the cap open. If it keeps running wild like this, the whole complex will blow within the hour. Can you can you close the cap? As far as I can tell, it's still held together by the interlocking hinges. It's wide open, but our telemetry controls might close it. We'll give it a try. Try to activate the closure controls. All right, sir. All right, now, now try the closure switch. Yes, sir. Let 
country impulses must have hit a force field and bounced back at us. FS wanted to see you. FS wanted to see you. Come in. What's your trouble, eh? Well, the explosion must have set up some kind of a force field, Admiral. Our remote control impulses can't get through. Any ideas? Yes, sir. Fire a torpedo into the force field. Not an explosive charge. The shock might break the field. Right. Chief. Sir? Prepare forward torpedo number one for firing. No explosive charge. Aye, sir. thrown to the bottom. <coughs> well, one thing's for sure, Admiral. We can't raise enough power to get out. Try to make repairs and report back. Affirmative. Okay. We need a reading on the strength of that force field. Let's see what the AMRAC can show us. Years. Now he's after the gold. Gold? Aye. Oh, hey. 
spouting and spewing out in the sea, and he'll be taking it on. Yeah. Oh, Francis, you've got to get a hold of yourself. This, uh, this is some sort of a dream. Well, it could be a dream, but I'm hoping it won't turn into a nightmare. Look, it's starting now. I know what you're wondering, but never mind how I did it. You just, just, just watch. According to this, it would take a nuclear blast to destroy that force field. Uh, if we do that, we destroy the flags up as well. Now, this calls for some other answer. It calls for nothing at all. Not even a wasted thought. What did you say, sir? Uh, I didn't say anything. He did. Who? The man in red. He, he's the one who said. Now, now, Admiral. Sure, you'd not be wanting them to be seeing things meant only for your eyes, or hearing things meant only for your ears. What man in red, sir? Him? Of course not. Not being one whose ancestors came from the outside. But he is interfering with the conversation between us. So I put a stop to that. Fast. It's enough that I'm somebody who says you'll never be closing that shaft. I won't permit it. You won't permit it. I indeed. For I'm Michael Moore O'Shaughnessy, Leprechaun. Leprechaun? Oh, what, what kind of nonsense? And I'm here to collect the gold. What gold? There's less no gold here. It's there in the shaft, bubbling up. You think I don't know it? Why, well, it was myself that blew the cap. Soon, it'll blossom like a flower. More gold than you can shake a shillelagh at. And I'll be king of all the leprechauns in Ireland. Master Hans? Aye, sir. Send a security detail to the control room. Aye, sir. There's a There's a... There's a somebody here who... in the shaft, would you? And stopping me from getting to me gold. Well, you'll be stopping nothing now or ever again. Saw in there. It's my brother Mickey, sure I already told you that. Oh, the evil power that is and the powerful evil of it. Look, you, you, you leprechaun or wherever you are, I want to know what's going on here and I want to know right now. Oh, no, 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 you shouldn't do that, not to be beard. You should never pull a leprechaun's beard. <laughs> broth of a lad. It is a terrible pity the evil brother of mine is plotting such dreadful things against him and this fine ship of his. There must be something I can do to help him. Him and the good captain out there and where the fountain of gold is. I could just lend a hand. That's it, Patrick. Go and help the good captain. Doc, Chief. Where's the doc? Oh, he's out, Chief. What's the trouble? 
Give me something quick. What's the matter? You see a ghost or something? No, it was a leprechaun. A leprechaun? Yeah. Uh, sounds to me as if you had a bad dream, Chief. No, it was no dream. I saw him and I spoke to him. He was green. Well, sure. Sure, there's nothing strange about that. All leprechauns are green. No, no, they're not. His brother is red. How about that? Red and green leprechauns. Yeah. They weren't uh, riding pink elephants, were they? Now, you belay that, sailor. I know what I saw. Right, Chief, sure. Sure, now, you just... Don't forget it. I'll wait for that doc. What's he do back? Question, Sailor, when's the doctor? No, no, you'd not want to be waiting here for the doctor. It would be a long, long time. <sighs> no, 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 you, you can't be real. I, I, I just refuse to believe it. Oh, do you know? Well, maybe when I send you to join the good doctor. No, you don't, Michael Moore O'Shaughnessy. Uh oh, Brother Patrick Moore O'Shaughnessy. Indeed it is. And I saw what you left it before I left the submarine. And is it you, you measly might help me stopping it? Indeed it is. Now, tell me what things that you're doing, Monkey. Leave this lad in this ship. Oh, no, never. Not without the gold. There's no gold aboard. You don't understand me, boy. Mickey here's a bad one. And he wants to free the gold that's down below. He's got to be out of his mind. There's no gold out there. It, 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 it's, it's just a nuclear defense weapon. It's a nuclear defense weapon. Oh, is it now? And when it explodes... It'll blow up half a world. And release a fountain of gold. Beautiful yellow gold that'll make me the most powerful leprechaun in the world. Oh, terrible, terrible. He's evil incarnate. <laughs> well, the likes of you will never be stopping me. But enough of this talk. I'm sending this man on his way. No, you don't. I protect him. Don't cross me, Patrick. Stand aside. No, no. My magic will stop you now. But not for long, it won't. You can both stay here. Forever. Uh, what's, uh, what's forever? Oh, the evil that's in him. He's put up a leprechaun shield. How, uh, how do I get out? Oh, mortals can never get out, me boy. You mean I'm trapped here forever? Well, you would have been if my brother Mickey had remembered to separate us. But maybe my cobbler's hammer will break the spell. <laughs> And I'll be on my way again to help the captain. He does an evil thing, short as the evilest that can be done. Now, there's the real heart of the trouble. If I had my brother Mickey's powers, I could fix it. But having spent the last thousand years mending shoes, I... Maybe the cobbler should stick to his last. But the situation being what it is and all, I'll just have to be giving it a whirl. Mine's hot, Skipper. Let's hit the switch. Let's see if 
we can get out of here. Right. Activate full power. Activated, sir. All right. Here we go. Not pulling loose, sir. I'll give her auxiliary power. All right, Pat. Keep your fingers crossed. You are to somebody to help the lot of you. All right, now look. Maybe you're a, you're a leprechaun or maybe you're not. But whatever you are, if you want to help, locate the Admiral. Now, that's just what I was intended to do all along. Whilst I don't have the magic powers in my brother Mickey, that evil one, I do have the answer to his little disappearing trick. Now, hold it. What's that? Some carefully prepared shamrock dust. With just a wee pinch of four leaf clover to suit the taste. Well, at least I think that's what it is. All right, all right. What, what, what has that got to do with the apple? Well, yeah, patience, me boy, patience. We'll know in a moment. Let me see now, do I remember the magic formula? himself Patrick Moore O'Shaughnessy. 
Yes, sir. He's a leprechaun. Look at that. I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on around here. But maybe the victims are some kind of hallucination or uh, alien influence. I don't know. There's one thing I do know. If that's the problem we've got to solve, and if I'm right, it's just a little over an hour to do it. See through the flying sub. See through the flying sub. Come in. Lee, you hear me? This is Nelson. Come in. There's got to be some way to shut down that nuclear device. But the force field out there and flying sub apparently helpless. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute. The construction caves. Sir? There's a series of construction caves beyond the complex. They were used to build it, and then they were abandoned. Yes, sir, but I still don't see... Uh... We sent a couple of divers and they had to set an explosive charge against the wall. They might be able to blast an opening through the complex. Admiral, there's nobody else aboard ship. Then we'll do it ourselves. Come on. they have on their shoulders. Ah, ah. But they do have about three pinches of the mixture left. And if it's help they be needing, it's help they be getting. Here, here. Well, does it doesn't matter. Uh, you have an MZ mine package you're equipped for a diving mission, so uh, that's exactly where you're going. Where, sir? Do you remember the subterranean cave area behind the nuclear complex? Yes, sir. Well, go there. Blast open a hole between the cave and the complex, then go in there and stop that thing from going off. Aye, aye. How much time do we have? Have, uh, one hour, 23 minutes. Let's go. Stubborn as mortals that ever did be. I 
Oh, they don't. They are mortals. Which means that they can all die. Something else. One of the mines is activated. We're not close enough to the complex wall to ensure it's breaking open if the bomb explodes here. Huh? Um, do what you can, Chip. I ask. What can we do to help, Admiral? They're immobilized. No idea what happened to the captain and Patterson. Look out there. Your complex. It's due to blow within an hour. I wish I knew just who was behind all that. I'd like to push my fist right through them. But through what? A leprechaun, a banshee, a fantasy, the force. Mossfield. What, sir? We are going to try to ram Seaview right through that force field. Now, let's see if we can push it two together. Come on. <laughs> Automatic control set. We'll be in a minute, sir. All set. We'll move at flank speed on the course directly towards the force field. All right. Now, hang on. try to break through that force field. We were. But look at the telemetry controls. They're all green. Something must have dissipated the force field. Then we've still got a chance to close down the complex. Yeah, just a chance. I don't know what's happened to time, but we've only got a few minutes left. Activate the remote control system. Right, sir. We're moving in. the schemes of Mickey Moore O'Shaughnessy. Well, now, you see what it's got you? And looky here, if you're able. Sixty seconds. That's all that's left now. Sixty seconds before the whole complex goes and all the lovely, lovely gold in the sea that's buried beneath it becomes mine. Yeah, but you two will be well dead by then. I'm seeing to that right now. No, you're not, Mickey. You'll not be seeing to the dying of anyone. Well, it would be no sniveling, weak-livered coward the like of yourself that's stopping me. Well, my magic may not be as powerful as yours, Mickey, but the right is on my side, and I'll state that against all the black magic of your pipe. Oh, will you now? Well, let's see you be stopping me from sending this man's soul to the perdition it deserves. No, you won't. I'd not be letting you. Oh. Magic. 
magic to magic, is it, Patrick? Well, then so be it. <laughs> but yours is weakening even now. Is your arm not starting to shake? Your finger not starting to tremble? Why, you'll not last till the complex out there explodes. And then they'll all be dead. Twenty seconds to go. Only seconds, Patrick. And then all the gold that's buried in the Irish Sea will be mine. There's no response. Then throw full auxiliary power into it. They won't take it, Skipper. The controls are too delicate. I'm... shaken up, but we're fine. What happened? Well, uh, the complex didn't blow, if that's what you were worried about. We managed to close it with the help of the explosion, whatever that was. It came from some rock formations on the other side. Our chip must have managed to set the MZ mines in time. Uh, what, what mines were those? I'll explain it to you later. Just get back aboard as quick as you can. Are you all right, Chief? Oh, I don't think I'll ever be all right again. Not, uh... Not well, uh, he's still around. Let you not be worrying about me, me lad. Not about Patrick Moore, honestly. I'm not worrying about you, Patrick. It's the, uh, the state of my own mind that bothers me. I know I'm not worrying about that either. With my brother Mickey gone to rest his evil soul for another thousand years, I'd be going back to my shoemaking. No, 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 wait. Don't leave us now, will you? I mean, uh, where's the rest of our men? Now, Who's to say that they've not been here all the while? Perhaps you're thinking you've been living a nightmare. But a nightmare's only a dream. A dream is just a fancy, and a fancy is no more than an illusion. And illusions? That's a leprechaun stock in trade. Well, perhaps we'll be meeting again. But for the nonce, I bid you farewell. <laughs> If it wasn't for the fact that uh, Commander Morton and Kowalski are still missing, I'd say nothing ever happened. Hmm. Seaview, this is Morton. Special diving party is returning. Request permission to come aboard. Permission granted. I agree. No. Nothing ever happened, Chief. <laughs> no. I hate to think of what would happen if, if we ever tried to tell this story to anyone. <laughs> hmm. This is David Hedison. Stay tuned for scenes from our next episode. A monstrous lobster man is fished from the sea, only to create havoc aboard the sea view. Hold it! Peace. What? General Cook, this... You've broken your promise and you're heading for port. Arrest him. The Lobster Man, on voyage to the bottom of the sea, right here on this channel. Thank you.